Hi guys, we're going to Mexico. I don't know if we're gonna make the flight because Alex took forever to get ready and it's totally his fault. You can finally walk around naked all day. All right, folks, we just got here. It's humid as fuck. We had to fill this out. While we were on the flight, I accidentally kicked Alex's coffee over onto this guy's designer bag. He was actually so nice about it. He was just like, oh yeah, it's no big deal. So I ran to get napkins and then I just left and went to the bathroom. Okay, you guys, we finally made it to the Airbnb. Turn on the lights, show them. Wow. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. There's a lot of stuff to look at and there's just so much. This is actually really cool. It's my favorite part. Let's see, TV. It switches to go through to the living room. How cool. Okay guys, so this is our first day. This is our view. You can literally see the whole jungle. Like what? What? Look at all the people down there. We're gonna go get breakfast and we're gonna go down to the beach. What are you most excited for today? Food. Food. You can't elaborate? No, I mean, eating food. <laughs> He's clearly still asleep, even though he did take 45 minutes to get ready. We're waiting for the elevator. It's very slow here. Okay, but what, do you have to, what do you have to say about this guy? What are you looking at, mother... I think they're quirky pictures. That's why I like it. Quirky. You heard it here. Oh, look. They're allies. Yay. <gasps> look, we're in the mirror. Okay, folks. We made it to Coco's kitchen. Look how cute Alex looks. Love it. We sat at this table over here, like on that side, but then the waitress said, no, you should go in this corner, right next to the other gays. So they put us all in a corner. It's discrimination. I demand to talk to the manager. They literally put us in the farthest corner altogether. She said, no, this is a better spot for you. Can you believe that, Alex? What do you have to say? I support. You support discrimination? I didn't say that. I support everyone. I support everyone of every community. <laughs> what, a, what a political answer. <laughs> you didn't answer my question though. How do you feel about her putting us in this corner with the other gays? I don't have to answer your question. And how do you feel about everyone commenting how you're always on your phone and how you don't actually care about me at all? I am running a business, you know? Some people don't know what that's like, you know? Like Kim K said one time, she's like, maybe if you get up off your ass and work hard, you can get far in life. <laughs> that's the secret to life, folks. There you have it. What you just said. Do it again, ready, go. Show the people who you truly are. <laughs> that is not what he said. He said he wants to suck a big fat on the streets of Puerto Vallarta. I never said that. Those are like full, those are full on blatant lies. <laughs> Defamation right there, honestly. I have videotapes of you being that kind of person though. <laughs> I've seen you take it up. <laughs> All right, so we made it out on the beach. The food was good. I just hit my head. Okay, girly pops, we went to Blue Chairs. We sat down at the chairs. We got drinks. I got a caipirinha, which is a Brazilian drink. Alex got what? Coffee. No, you didn't. You didn't get coffee. You got alcohol. You got a margarita. This is his cup right here. He had the margarita, I had the caipirinha, and it was so good. Then this is his coffee. He did have coffee, but it was not from Blue Chairs. That's our card, because to pay for it. Here, tell him what you have to say. Jonah has HIV. That is not a true statement, okay? I'll release test results. I'm not afraid of no fucking test results. I don't have HIV, okay? He's lying. He got it from this top who destroyed his hole. He was double penetrated by two cocks. Well, that part, I'm like, well, that part is true. That Hi guys, here we are, day two of our campaign trail out here in Puerto Vallarta. Alex is on his phone. Alex, what are you doing on your phone? Trying to find us a place to eat. He's trying to find a place to eat, people, you heard it. We're probably gonna walk to the main center and then just see whatever looks good. And then probably go to the beach maybe, who knows. Okay, we found a really cute little cafe that we were walking by. It's kind of in a little alleyway. Say hi, Alex. Hi. This is where we are. It's called coffee kombucha acai. Okay, so we discovered that it's called Ono. Also, the people are so nice. This is a breakfast wrap that we got with some like whatever that is, veggie straws. This is French toast. This is acai bowl. It's a good vibe. So if you're ever in Puerto Vallarta, it's called Ono. Like Ono Hawaiian barbecue, but Ono smoothie bowls and food, breakfast, stuff like that, coffee. Okay, welcome. We're going to do this like a mukbang. <laughs> mukbang. This is a Puerto Vallarta mukbang. Okay, well, here we are. Now I'm going to try the bowl. I don't even know what this is. It looks like Greek yogurt. It looks a little bit like mush. 
Mm, mm, mm. It's good. It tastes healthy for sure. Alex is, of course, watching political documentaries right now as we are on vacation because he can't seem to get enough of politics. So if you had to choose between, let's say, your roommate that's sitting next to you or politics, what would you choose? Politics. Oh, that's not... Um, let's try that again. If you had to choose to give up either me right in front of you or give up politics, what would you choose to give up? You. Okay, cut the camera. Okay. After the pool, we went to the gym because you gotta be big, always, obviously. The sunset is so pretty. It's a beautiful view. Okay, love you guys. See you later. Okay, folks, we are back out. This is our third day here. Last night, we went and got tacos, and I didn't feel like bringing my camera. And then we went out to the bars, and we got a little drunk, which maybe I could put some of that BTS in later from my iPhone, because I don't always feel like carrying around this vlogging camera. But right now, we're going to get breakfast, and Alex suggested we go back to Coco's. If you remember, that's the place where we got hate crimed. But honestly, it might be worth it because the food was good. Breaking news, we ended up not going to Coco's. We ended up going to the pancake house right here. There's fruit, there's papaya, pineapple, banana. Anyways. So, this is day three. We are here in the beautiful um, tropical. So does his ass. Literal shit. That's why I don't want to eat it. So I shut out my whole Actually, I did eat it multiple times. Let me tell you, it's very loose and very pink and very. Um, yeah, literally, he's he would literally do good at being double penetrated. This title is gonna be getting double penetrated in Mexico. That's gonna be the title of this video. Folks, here it is. Look, he got his fork and his knife. Even though he said, I definitely don't want the fucking pancakes. I'm not gonna eat those fucking pancakes. Don't you dare order those fucking pancakes. But here he is, about to eat the fucking pancakes after I told him that he's not allowed to have any when I ordered them because he was telling me that he's not to want them. <gasps> Did you just stab my cakes? I killed them. No, you can't kill them. They're already dead. They're not even living. I'm about to eat them. Stop that. Stop. It's not for you. It's not for you. Why are you? Stop that. Stop that. <sighs> okay, so we had to go to... A the coffee shop that we like because the place, the coffee, the place was so shit. And then my card got declined because I didn't tell them I'm gonna be in Mexico. So it stopped working and Alex is making fun of me saying I'm a broke bitch, but I'm not. I swear, I'm not. Tell them. What? I'm not. No, I'm not. Tell them I'm not a broke. Oh, uh, I'm not a broke bitch. No, me, Jonah is not. Um, um me is not a broke bitch. Okay, hi folks. So we finished breakfast. Um, Alex wanted to clean a little bit. Um, and now we made it out to the pool. If you can see him over there. It's a really beautiful day, warm, it's clear. You can see like the whole ocean and everything, the mountains. Yeah, so we're gonna be here for the next couple hours just relaxing.